Hey you, and as kind of promised, uh, this is a uh, follow-up to uh, yesterday's uh, vlog. I did end up going to uh, see uh, Terrifier 3, though much uh, later than I anticipated, since um, some uh, transit difficulties prevented me from going to my uh, 7 o'clock show, so I ended up uh, going to a uh, 10 o'clock show at uh, actually the Scotiabank uh, Theatre um, AVX. So um, I uh, saw Terrifier 3 and it just left me feeling numb. Just, um, I don't really know how to describe it, but like, it's no longer shocking to see the brutality of the uh, Terrifier films. It's just like par for the course now, and you have the film starting with uh, Art the Clown massacring a family with an axe and laughing as it happens, and like. I don't really know what to feel about that and like so the film builds on the uh, mythology of Art the Clown somewhat and the um, hero's journey faced by the uh, protagonist uh, Sienna Shaw and um I'm sure that uh, Damien Leone has a plan for how the uh, Terrifier franchise will eventually uh, conclude, uh, but um, I think the very fact that um, Terrifier 4 was already greenlit before Terrifier 3 was released, it kind of signified that this film was not going to have a conclusive um, resolution, and indeed, um, even though Sienna Shaw is the quote-unquote final girl, she is, like, put through the ringer big time in uh, Terrifier 3, and, like, the climax of the film, uh, which um, is probably, arguably, the most extreme section of the film it just it's uh, torture porn pretty much and um, I really can't put my full support behind the Terrifier franchise anymore uh, the curiosity killed the cat too many times I have uh, written a review on the site says all my thoughts about Terrifier 3. I am not going to do a fancy video review for the film. If you want to know my specific thoughts about Terrifier 3, you can just go to the site and read my review of Terrifier 3. And, um, I'm sure that this franchise has a lot of fans and that this is probably going to be the most box office successful entry in the Terrifier franchise. It is going to beat Joker Fully Ado in its second week and good for that. Good for them to have made a successful horror franchise that is getting mainstream attention. So Terrifier 3 does not have a major studio behind it, but Canada's largest cinema chain, Cineplex, booked it in the largest screen at one of their main theaters in downtown Toronto. And the screening was not full, but there was a sizable amount of people at the screening. And uh, the film actually, it's Terrifier 3 is released on 
rated in the United States, but it actually got a rating in Canada. It got an uh, 18A, um, which is actually a bit low than <laughs> I would expect for the Terrifier series, but like a, uh, the highest rating in Canada is actually R, which um, only a handful of films have gotten that have gotten a wide release. Uh, some of the examples include uh, the Hob Hobo with a Shotgun, uh, Blower Mouth, films that are like very, very extreme and graphic. And I'm actually surprised that Terrifier 3 got an 18A rating. And um, so <laughs> I don't know what else to say uh, about Terrifier 3. I am just numb about it. It's just a mind numbing experience. And um, they set up uh, Terrifier 4. I'm sure it's going to be an even bigger hit, but like I'm I'm done. I'm done with Terrifier. I've given it three chances, three strikes, and it's out. I am done with the Terrifier franchise. That is my reaction. I am numb. I do not like this level of violence in films. I do not want to support this level of violence in films. There is a scene in Terrifier 3, which is probably shocking for shock value on its own. And like even cameos by Cliff Howard and Tom Savini do not really elevate the film. I pretty much gave it the same rating I gave Terrifier 2, which is uh, two and a half stars out of five, which is my indifferent rating. So, like, people who like Terrifier 3 are going to love it. <laughs> like, people who don't like it are going to hate it. And <laughs> I am done talking about the Terrifier franchise. And... I am going to see you next time.